Hi, I'm Bill Hansen, and this is Accessory Minute, where I'll provide some background, history, and technical tidbits on electronic test accessories. Today, I want to talk about test lead wire. If you're in the electronic or electrical industry, you're surrounded by wire. It's everywhere. And one may think that the wire you may find in an instrument, say like a power supply, heavy gauge, would be perfect to use for a patch cord or a test probe. Well, hopefully not, and for safety's sake, definitely not. Now, what do I mean by test lead wire? Well, if you've got a probe assembly or a patch cord assembly with a banana plug, the interconnection wire is really what you classify as test lead wire. Now, probe assemblies such as this are governed by the International Safety Standard, IEC 61010-031. And I'll put a caption on the screen that presents its long running title. But basically, it gives you the specifications and the test procedures you need to do to prove a safe test probe or test lead patch cord assembly. And also within the spec are requirements for the interconnection wire. This is test lead wire. And it defines some very specific characteristics of that wire. What are those characteristics? Let's take a look. So here we have two similar gauge wires side by side. On the right is common electrical hookup wire, and on the left is a sample of test lead wire. They look similar as both have copper center conductors and both, in this example, have PVC insulating jackets. But this is where the similarity ends. For user safety, the test lead jacket is usually thicker. The typical wire rating for test lead wire is 1000 volts CAT3, and per the safety spec, it's tested up to 10 times the rated value for breakdown. Second, there's a wear indicator. See this little inner white color ring? This can visually tell a user whether there's been a cut or wear on the wire prior to use will let you know that this patch cord or probe assembly is not safe to use. Regarding flexibility, they both have copper center conductors, but the test lead wire usually has many more strands. In this example, you can see the test lead wire has over 250 strands, while the common hookup wire has no more than 65. A higher strand count means better flexibility. In addition, electrical wire usually has tin plating. This is great for soldering, but it will add to the wire's overall stiffness. Bare copper, on the other hand, improves flexibility. And finally, test lead wire is readily available with a silicone insulation. A silicone jacket gives the ultimate in flexibility and safety due to its suppleness, chemical resistance, and higher temperature capability. So there you have it. The wire that you'll find on test lead assemblies is a very specific wire that incorporates usability and much greater user safety. So remember, don't just grab any wire if you're gonna build your own test lead. Make sure you're looking for genuine test lead wire. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out our other product videos and get our product catalog to learn more about our products.